It's Transformers 96 or another video review this time of Captain America the First Avenger movie series uh, Marvel Hydra Soldier Dark Threat. Yes, wow. Uh, so yeah, so um, I have this toy. You're probably thinking that I bought this guy on eBay early, and I didn't. I found this guy in my local Toys R Us. And considering if you go on eBay, at least from the time that I'm shooting this, if you go on eBay, there will be only two people that have this figure. And um, I can't believe that I found it. I went to my local Toys R Us, I looked around, they really didn't have anything. Even in the single packs of Captain America, they didn't have anything. Thing. So, I went past Captain America and everything, looked all around, but, I, you know, because when you don't find stuff, you still want to find stuff. So, you know, I went to the Lux Packs, it was just all the Captain America stuff, so I just flipped through them, I didn't even look at the characters, I was just looking at the names, and I just flipped and flipped and flipped until I saw one that said Dark, and I knew that this one was some kind of Dark something, and so I thought, there's probably some kind of Dark Captain America, but just in case, let me see, and it was a Hydra soldier, I was so excited um, to see him and uh, it was awesome I bought him right away so here you go um so yes yeah, so very cool I've been waiting for the Hydra soldiers for a long time um <clears throat> especially since I have Cap uh, Red Skull uh, so yes yeah. so first of all I just like to ask you guys is Hydra have anything to do with uh, the Nazis or Hitler because I'm so confused because Red Skull was a Nazi but then he kind of moved to this is this totally different or is this just like a division of the Nazis or something because I would love to know I am so I don't know about that at all so if you guys know at all please leave a comment send me a message just anything I'll find it so that um so that I know because I have no idea um because the symbols are different and everything so I'm very confused but anyway here is the deluxe packaging because this is the deluxe for here um so here you go it's just a wider package, same type of thing. Um, here he is on the back, just with one gun has that missile, one gun has that missile, there you go. Attachable chest armor. Oh, so maybe that's removable. But And then uh, some others, they're all role play toys, though, which I don't understand. Uh, they should probably, except this one, this one's like a parachuting Captain America. But uh, so yeah. So, very cool. So, I got this guy yesterday, and I uh, was very happy to. So, he is a deluxe figure. Um, he comes with these two uh, kind of, like, missiles on his arms. And you can put in either one of the missiles. There's only one slot to put him in, though. So, at a time, you can only have him holding two missiles. I will say that. Yeah. Um, and they, they just pop in there. In the trailer, we did see him with the... Uh, uh, the flames, you know, there was two of them. One was standing there and had the flames kind of trapping Captain America in the middle. Um, so yeah, so, here we go. Oh, yeah, the cannon fell off. Um, that, that was another thing. They are removable. I totally didn't know that. So I thought that they were just in his arms, but they are removable. So that is just awesome. Personal preference all the way, which I just love. So anyway, yeah, so you can do this. And he does fire them, and he fires them with some strength. He really does. Yeah, I, uh, I, I fired these at a toy um, just for fun, and it totally just knocked it right over, and the missile just kept going, too. So it's got some strong springs in there, which is awesome. Maybe it's just mine, but it's got some strong springs. Uh, so, yeah. And then you can put these in. These definitely don't look as good. They match his color a bit better, but uh, but they definitely don't look as good. Um, but they also fire. Oops. Yeah. They fire strong. Here's another one. You can probably hear how much that is just slamming. Hold on, I can see the missile. Let me go get it. Okay. So anyway. So the missiles, if you like the shooting gimmicks, then you'll love these because they are some strong springs. That's for darn sure. Um, it, it's packaged with this, like this. It doesn't look that good, though. I'd much rather have it like this, which is how I keep him. There you go. It doesn't matter. There's no, like, notch that it, like, attaches into this, the arm. It just kind of goes in there and just kind of gets kind of caught on his forearm. So, yeah. Um, and everything. So, yeah. But uh, it does look good with the cannons on him, I will say. Um, but he's still awesome just with this. For Deluxe Figure, it, it comes with two missile launchers and four missiles. Yeah, I, I don't think that's too great for a deluxe figure. It's just a lot of missiles and everything. I really wish they just they put some kind of handgun or machine gun in there. Just if you wanted to have him, you can have him hold that. 
I would have really loved that, and I would have thought that the deluxe um, would be more worth it. Articulation, he is limited in some places, but here you go. He's got a swivel neck. It might be a ball jointed. Nah, it's just a swivel, but it's it's extremely hindered. That's as far um, left as you can go. This is as far as right. So yeah, so that's a shame. He's got ball hinge shoulders, which are kind of hindered by this, but it's pretty soft rubber plastic, so you can go up a decent amount. Even you can go up like this. So yeah, it is hindered, but not at that bad. A ball hinge, um, a ball swivel, or a hinge swivel elbow, no wrist, no bicepter waist. Um, a ball hinge thigh with a thigh swivel and a hinge swivel knee, no ankle. So you are lacking articulation because he is hindered in his head, he's hindered in his shoulders, he doesn't have any wrist, he doesn't have any chest or waist, and he doesn't have any ankle. I will say this uh, ball hinge uh, thigh joint is really easy to manipulate and it's just it's very easy and nice to use. So it does work out very well. It um, it's pretty nice so but but he's hindered in articulation so yeah but he um he is kind of a bulky figure he's bigger than uh, I thought he's taller than Captain America I think I'll, I'll bring him out to comparison um but yeah so paint people are talking about how Captain America the toys have bad paint apps and I'm um, considering I didn't have any to choose from because this was the only one they had I made sure of that I definitely want to get two of him um but this is the only one they had so paint apps but they're all very decent I mean, he doesn't have a lot of different colors, but it's all very decent where it needs to go. A little bit smudging on the eyes here, but other than that, it seems to be pretty okay. He's got these panels going down, which look really cool. These have some blue, like, arrows, which is kind of neat. He's got some blue arrows up here, some light blue arrows. And on the back here, he's got this awesome backpack that kind of chains on, and there's this little, like, um accelerator thing I guess to hold the the fire I guess and um, he's got this great belt backpack this belt um, pack thing that has a lot of packs and everything looks great um, his legs are very cool they've got all the little wrinkles they got built-in pockets here it's just it's very well sculpted this head sculpt is pretty awesome just a really awesome helmet I was looking for Hydra soldiers he doesn't have any on his arm or belt or waist or anything he where he has them is on the side of his head that is a Hydra soldier it's very small very hard to see but it is a Hydra soldier um, symbol so that was very strange, but hey, that's cool. I'm glad they put the symbol on him somewhere. That's really awesome. They could have just not done it, but they did. Um, so yes, yeah, so a very nice figure. Um, I really, he's got this uh, great armor that isn't attached to him. Um, so I, I imagine you can remove this if you wanted to. Um, but I don't see why you wanted to. And then you know the armor on his head still stays, so it wouldn't look good. Um. So yeah, for I don't think that he should be a deluxe, because just because he comes with these two things, they're very, they're quite small, um, and uh, the four missiles, I they totally could have just done with, you know, these and two missiles and a gun, and I would have been much happier paying for a deluxe. So yeah, because this guy is just a dollar less than two Red Skulls. So yeah, um, just based on the price. But the rocket launchers do look very good better than I thought. It He holds it better on his uh, left arm than his right for me, but he holds it on both quite fine, you know. It really it doesn't lock in too well on this arm, but yeah, so yeah. So, comparison, um, I only have two other uh, Captain America figures, and that is the hero and villain, Captain America and Red Skull, so if I can get him to stand, there you go. Uh, we can bring out Red Skull with his minion. As you can see, he is much bigger than Red Skull. He is. He's uh, taller and bulkier. So that is another plus for him being a deluxe. Um, he is quite bigger, and I like how he's bigger. I thought that he was going to be about the same height as Red Skull, but he's not. He's a bit taller and he's bulkier, which is cool. So which is why I want to get two. I think that two of them will look great together and um so yeah so very nice and then with captain america <clears throat> here he is captain america is taller well let's see here if i can get captain to stand work with me jeez he he doesn't want to work okay Jeez, okay, I never really have this much trouble trying to stay in Captain America. Okay, there you go. Um, actually, the Hydra Soldier looks a bit taller. He really does. Let's do back-to-back. -back. 
Yeah, back to back, the Hydra Soldier's taller. And this is with him having his helmet on, too. So, um, I'll keep Red Skull in the back there, because he's the commander. But, so the Hydra Soldier is quite tall as well. And he's just very cool. So he is, he's a decent, uh, d uh, deluxe figure. I don't think he needs to come with four missiles. But he does. He's got two cannons, which are pretty nice looking. And, uh, he's... He's pretty bulky and tall, as you can see. He's taller than both of them. Just not too much taller than Captain, but he is still taller. So, um, so yes, yeah, so he is very cool. Uh, highly recommend the pickup of this guy, um, just the Dark Threat. When he is released, you should definitely pick him up. I'm definitely going to pick up at least one more. Well, I'm only going to pick up one more, because they are releasing a single-carded Hydra Soldier. I'll probably pick up two of them. And then I did heard, uh, hear about an updated Hydra Soldier. Um, so, if I, everything that I heard is right, we should get three Hydra Soldiers, definitely two at least, because I have seen pictures for the other one. The other one should be released in Series 4, and then the updated Hydra Soldier is supposed to be released in Series 5. That's what I heard. This guy, I don't know which series he's in. Probably two or three. I, well, it's not released yet, so I say three, I guess. I'm not sure, but uh, so yeah, so I found this guy at Toys R Us. I'm definitely going to look at some more Toys R Us's today um, to try to find another, because I can't believe I found that. It's just, it's amazing. And uh, that nobody picked it up, too. So, yeah, I'm glad that I found him, and so glad that I got to do the review nice and early for you guys. So there you go. So that's my review of Captain America, the first Avenger, Dark Threat Hydra Soldier. Um, So that is it's just awesome. Please tell me what the Hydra Soldiers are about in the comments and uh, everything. So, thank you so much, and that's my review for Captain America Dark Threat Hydra Soldier. Thanks for watching.